one of the things that I'm really working on this year that I want to enter 2025 really having committed to is waking up earlier. I tried waking up at 6 a.m. for a week, but this week I realized that it is not as sustainable as I thought. And one of the reasons I was waking up so early was so that I could exercise in the morning. But now that I've signed up to tennis classes and I'm going twice a week plus Mondays where I'm going to the gym, but I don't feel like it's super necessary for me to do my exercise at 6 a.m. in the morning. So I'm trying to wake up at 6.30, 6.45. Now that I'm really prioritizing this channel, I've decided that I wanna wake up earlier and work on it in the mornings. Honestly, waking up in the morning when everything is quiet, when the sun's not out yet, I feel like I'm getting ahead of everybody else. I'm definitely getting ahead of Lazy Celine. I can take my time. I do not like to be rushed. It's just not in my being. So I love journaling, making my tea, and then making my cup of coffee, having my breakfast, working on YouTube. And I get to the office and by the time I'm at the office, I'm in a good mood. I feel like I've already succeeded. And some things that I'm realizing really help are there's nothing I have to think of in the morning. So I prepare what I'm gonna wear the next day. I prepare my lunch for the next day. It's in the Tupperware. My pen and journal are ready for me to journal in. Anyways, I'm gonna go have my breakfast now. Another habit that I'm trying to implement is uh, exercise. This is a big one. Uh, on Mondays, I've decided I'm going to the gym. So I go to the gym and then I've, I've signed up to tennis classes with my boyfriend. We go to different classes, but we have it the same day. So it's Tuesdays and Thursdays. And what I'm planning on doing is Wednesdays and Fridays, going out on a walk and just moving my body. And what I want to achieve is that every day I get more than 5,000 steps in. 5,000 is really the bare minimum. I want to hit near 10,000 every single day. I want to look physically fit, like strong, more than anything for the mental health aspect, which I've just discovered this year. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put on a hat and I'm going to walk my dog because he's bored and I want to get some movement in. It's Friday and I want to get my steps in. I have plans in the afternoon and I just want to wake up a little bit and yeah. <laughs> So funny, we just got home. Wow, well, my hair. And as soon as I take my shoes off, it's like this is a little party. And he starts running. He knows that I'm not leaving him alone, which I barely do, by the way. I just got back from an amazing family day and um, I was just really thirsty. And this brings me to my next point. <sighs> There's actually a sample bottle that came to the office and I decided to take home. And it has been the best non-purchase that I've ever made. This is my new habit. This right here. Stanley is cute, but this guy... I always said this, like drinking out of a straw and drinking out of a water bottle, huge game changer. I'm trying to carry this in my house as well because I really do think that it makes such a huge difference. Water is life. That is the thumbnail of this video. I have more energy throughout the day. I make it to the gym. And whenever I go to the gym, the best part is I drink more water because I'm more thirsty little hacks that i have because i'm not a big water drinker it doesn't do anything for me other than give me life but you know in terms of things i enjoy about water pretty much nothing here are some tips i like sparkling water my sister while she was pregnant she would drink sparkling water with a little slice of lemon a bottle as i said a bottle of water um another hack that i have is both when i wake up and before i go to bed i drink tea i hated tea my whole life and now ever since summer break when my boyfriend got really sick um and we started drinking tea in the evenings we drink tea now i drink it first thing in the morning when i wake up with a bit of like a tummy ache tea and at night before sleeping, I do a sleepy tea. It makes me want to go to sleep. So those are two cups of water that you're drinking. Sparkling water after the gym, that's three. One bottle of water at the gym, that's one bottle and two cups. Every meal, one glass of water. Two bottles at work, there you go. You have yourself a liter and a half, two liters, easy. If you have low energy like me, trust me, drink more water.
Another habit that I'm really working on, well, I guess there are two. One of them is just cooking my meals ahead of time. Now I just don't eat meat. So it is harder for me to get enough protein. And so I do have to be very mindful about each of my meals and make sure that I'm getting enough protein. And this is honestly because I want more energy. About cooking my meals in advance, obviously this just helps me cook before I'm super hungry and I pick up the first thing I see. Um, when I just eat because I'm super hungry, I generally don't get enough protein because I make pasta or something that's not very protein filled. So in order to eat more protein, I realize I have to cook ahead of time and think about my meals ahead of time. I have a morning routine and a night routine. My night routine does vary depending on the day of the week, but I do intend on separating even bigger of a slot of time so that I can really do all the things that I want to do in my night routine and just have more time. Because in the end of the day, the night routine really like sends cues to your brain that it's time to sleep. But these signals cannot be sent in five minutes. Like that's unrealistic. So I'm really trying to separate a little bigger of a slot for my night routine just so I can like ooze myself into sleeping. I just do things that calm my brain down. One thing that I like to do is paint. It's kind of like meditative almost. Another thing I do in my night routine is I do like to light a little candle. Smell that reminds me that it's time to like cozy up and go to sleep. Sometimes I'll write in my gratitude journal. Not often. It's something I want to start doing, but I do journal in the morning. I don't want to overdo it. I have a meditation that I do at night. It's the last thing I do because it literally makes me fall asleep. And I read. I just want to have enough time to read and then meditate and then like just ooze into my sleep. That just killed our vibe. That's really what works for me. Anyways, morning and night routines.